Mary. Carol Allison on the real wind up. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello. Good afternoon. Would that be Mrs. Allison? Yes. Mrs. Allison, hello there. It's John Dempsey speaking from Weir Valley District Council. Right. I'd, I'd phoned earlier on today, but I didn't get any answer. I didn't want to leave a message. I'm, I'm calling up, uh, love, about the erection in the back garden, the shed oblique summer house. A, a shed? In the back garden? That's been here for two years. Aye. Uh, you've recently put curtains in it. it That's says, hell. Well, it, it says down here, love. I'm, I'm, I'm just phoning up before we, we send somebody round. Curtains, furniture, etc. Are you, you using uh, it as an outhouse? Are you sure you've got the right one? I think so. Let me check the details with you, love. Um, Who's the blazes is the curtains? I beg your pardon, love. It's got a wee window, and there's nobody could see the window except us. Right, would you mind me if I'd one of the neighbours round? I mean, I'm not at liberty to say who it is that's got in contact with us uh, between you and I, but uh, I, I just, you know, I'm doing my job, love, and I... Yeah, I know, son, I know. I'm, I'm looking up at the shed scene. Who's the curtains? You've got curtains in the, the window there. No! There's no curtains up at the window. It's a wee window. Aye. So you don't have curtains in there at all? No! And... What do you say? There's nobody could see the window except us. Maybe Mr. King sees it from his bedroom window. But I assure you, there's no curtains. You could come and have a look at it if you're willing to, son. But how big is it, would you say, roughly? Oh, frost. A big pardon? I'll tell you. Sorry, son, sorry. Has your husband been sleeping in it? Have you been... I mean, does some, is what? There a, is there a bed in out there? Because this would affect your council tax payment. Listen, I've never even been in it. Like, once I think I've been in it. But you see, the neighbour says that, that it's yours and you use it as a summer house. And we'll use, it, we'll use it as nothing. It'll keep the lawn more than that, I think, and it keeps some tools in Why it. Why would you go to the trouble, love, of putting a, a tiled roof on it? It was just, it was a project that my husband wanted. He wanted it to look nice, not just like a shed. You better come down and have a look at it. No, no, no I, will, I will. But you keep your sewing machine in there, don't you? Because she said that she'd seen you going in with that. What are you talking about? You don't have a sewing machine in there. Do you do odd jobs for, for family and neighbours? I didn't have a sewing machine. I didn't even use the, the shed. You're not a seamstress? No! Right. I'll, I'll cross that off the list then. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? We have been told that you'd, you'd built an extension of some description, you were running a power cable out to it, and you had a sewing machine in there, and you were you were running what we would class as a cottage industry. Oh, get off that. And you were running up curtains and doing alterations... I a... do curtains, I do curtains for my friends, but I've nah. nothing to do with the shed. Are you paying tax on the curtain income? I didn't, I didn't do it for money. I didn't do it for money. You see, they say that you've got Malaysian workers in there. You have me on. No, love, I'm telling you just You now. have to have me on. The, no, I've printed out what I've got here from my boss who said... Ask if there are Malaysian workers producing the curtains. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Is the one? Please come down and see the shade. No, we will Please. love. We will love. That there would be a party of fifteen people coming down to. <laughs> you definitely have me on. <laughs> you have to be having me on. There'd be, there'd be, no, there'd be an inspection party from the council, from Weir Valley District Council. I don't you, We'd be taking thing. away some samples of the curtains. <laughs> yeah, how are we, <laughs> we will be down with an inspection unit and armed police. <laughs> you're actually on the radio in Scotland right now. In your gun, George. In your gun, George. This is the real radio breakfast show.
Your front door, that's right. Jeez. That's all right. We reverse the charges, love. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> you made my day. Oh. I'm really laughing. You can. <laughs> 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 The Real Wind-Up with Belmont Citroen. With prices so good, you'll think 